a duck, blue in the middle of nowhere. And today I'm going to be working on stuff in the back of the truck. So my my plan I probably can do is make like a, just like a junker custom uh, was it fire pit kind of thing with a plate top. So basically, you take that uh, wheel, you flip it upside down, clean all the paint off that shit, or I throw it on top of my fire pit when I make a fire and just burn it, get it all cleaned wire wheel it down then you take that rat that that basket cut it open one side and make it like a hinge just so you can put the fire in and try to bend out all of those so it's upside down so my guess and I'll show you hey get over here dog come on this she always just goes snooping she's not too far but she stays home come on all right Take this to the basket. God, yeah, it'll be cutting off those hand, those uh, handle things. Well, getting the plastic out of it. So, my idea. Back up, Seth. Watch out. Okay. So I've got that. Now I'm thinking with this. Seth, give me some space, man. <laughs> And just a simple, cut it down where it's actually in it, and I put a, like, you could use this as a grill. Actually, you know, yeah, you could actually use it as a grill. As long as you don't go stupid hot with this, it'll be fine. I put a little plate in the middle at the bottom and a, co a couple little plates on these here, so that way the holes in the bottom don't get too much crap going through. But enough, you know, dig down the hole in the middle so that way it's actually a fire pit so it's gullied out or convexed out, whatever you want to call it. Just dig it out and I'll make it small and I'll make all this edging go around so it's not, oh well it's a square that's just too wide, you know. Like if you really look, give me a second, there, the ends, it's, uh, it's just about as wide so I would have to bend right here, here, cut the corners obviously, and just bend it in. That way it's covered completely. And bring this out. Um, with this side, <laughs> I just think about it. So I gotta build this into a hinge type, right? So I, this here is not connected, and this is not connected. So cutting that, that take those bend it down bend them whatever in and open up that like that's a little messed up so take that one out now there's four here one, two, three four take the two of them out have a big opening in the middle whatever you know, unless I just do some welding that's what the project will have to be yeah I don't know how easy that's going to be, but we'll see what I got. But that's not going to happen. Not this week. You'll see the next little step is in next week. So, see you then. Okay, so it's next week. It's September 3rd. So, yeah, I purposely went under because I don't want you to see what's over here. So, I'm going to be welding. I'm going to use my MIG. So, obviously, need your shield and gloves. So, it's a basket. Got to get rid of these, so I'll have the grinder here. I was going to use this, okay? That was the original idea, obviously. Got it done. They took the valve core from my spare, as well as this one, and they didn't give it back to me, so kind of screwed. But when I got my tires changed, they had one of these big old truck rims. This is a 22-inch. I don't know if that's going to fit in this ba that basket. Ugh, ugh, I'm too short for that for the, my arms. I don't have six feet arms. Okay, just shits and giggles. It looks like it'll barely fit. I'll have to figure out something. Probably cut the corners and widen it a bit. Because I don't want to use this anymore that's too small. Like, look at the distance. But there's some major damage. Okay, right there and right there. I want to bend this out. I'll take my mini sledge 
this is just a six pound short handle sledge and I'm gonna cr grind this all out get rid of the paint so I can do welding but it's like man whoever did whatever they did they really grinded that in and that's the inside of the rim I'm thinking <laughs> yeah it has to be because that's where that is now this is got to come off okay now so now Okay, take this down. I'm not grabbing it from the other end. Like I said, razor sharp. Okay, you look at this. It's bad. So, I'm gonna pound that out. Like, look at the fucking divot, man. Like, what was he doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sledge now. It's gonna get loud, and I'm gonna need two hands, so you'll see it in a minute. I did use my mini sledge, and I was wailing it. <sighs> It's not happening. I straightened this out like straight, but that's not going anywhere. That's too much steel. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna look like. I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'm just gonna pull these out. But I gotta figure out where I gotta pull it out from. Maybe I put the basket on this way. And that way it pulls out the corners here. I'll pull that corner out. And this will be like a swing thing. Or hinged sorry what if I don't even use that does this be yeah you know what fuck it I'll just cut all this front part off and I'll just make it a three-sided open basket and you load it from here and then you load it into the back side but I gotta make sure that I have it on there enough but well, you know it's really kind of difficult oh, well, until I cut these corners so that's the next step is I'm gonna take the grinder cut cut these corners here all four of them this I'm just gonna take my uh, wrench and just rip this freaking handle off I don't need to cut it So it's cleaned up. Like it's, it's obviously a little rough because that's how the grinder works. A lot of grinding crap in here. Like, okay, next thing is to take this basket and I gotta figure out the position. Now, I could put it here, but it's it's mainly the sides. Because I don't care if there's a gap hole here. That's not what I'm worried about. Or I could put it on the back side. But that just gives really... No. Do the small side. That way I can modify how it is. And, uh... Yeah, I am going to cut the front off. So, that's next step. Cutting all these things. Then it gets you like that happening. Now, the only other thing is now... These here are all jagged edges. I don't like that. So if anybody that's trying to use it, they go like that. You know, see how it's gripping my freaking glove? Imagine that in your hand. So I'm gonna clean that up. All right, in no time I claim to be a good welder. Just note that, okay? Like I said, not the best welder, but it'll do. So. Sorry, that was loud. Okay, so that's one side on. That didn't go anywhere. Now it's just a matter of pull this out, weld that to there. I'm gonna have to try to bend it in, because I, uh, you know what, fuck it. Pull that out and then bend the back side in, that's it. And then I just pull this one out as much as I can. And that's what I gotta do, yeah. So, I'm gonna skip a little bit and uh, get the fin get it a little more position, and then go to the welding. It's bent in, so I bent that down. I bent that down a bit, so when I pull this on, 
it's going to sit. But I can grab it from this side and then weld it right there as it'll connect. That's just literally holding in place and I'll weld it right there. And then the back side is just bend it back down. So you see like how it's fly hanging up there. I pulled it out just enough so give myself some uh, leeway. And then we're going to go from there. So put you back on the welder. I'm hoping you're seeing that. Um, probably more there. So we're basically done. I've finished up welding on here. So this is the one side. And you last see me welding right about there. I welded up that. It did separate it, but it got to hold itself back into place. So that's in place now. That's welded. It's, it's held underneath. It's not really doing anything. And there. Other side's good. It's holding pretty decent. It, you know. It is what it is. It's a shopping bat, uh, truck rim, shopping basket, fire pit. It works, you know. I'm already done. I ended up taking a video like that, and it was kind of uh. So I had to re come out back out and yeah, I can't even talk right now. I had to come back out and redo it because I'm in my slippers, yeah, legs, hairy legs, and shorts, and everything is cleaned up. Yeah. So I'm Duff, the middle knower, Sap's inside. She's on diaper dog day, so I'm not bringing her out right now. It started heat last Friday. But uh, that is the pit. And like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you got anything else you want to see. It's pretty much going to be life stuff. Things about the, that Mustang. Hopefully the one that's in here, the 59. And I've got more stuff to do with the truck. But like always... Have a good one.